Hey folks, your OS Reviews. You're watching our video first look and unboxing impressions of the Invoxia Tribi. On paper, the sub $200 smart speaker is one of the most ambitious products that we've seen here in 2016. It's interesting because it has the same guts as the Amazon Echo and the Amazon Amazon Dot, just because it uses the Amazon Alexa software, which is an early form of AI as well as advanced voice recognition that allows you to transform the speaker into this portal for answering calls, and it becomes your assistant also for weather updates, for songs, for music, and it's designed to be used in the kitchen, which is kind of a niche but interesting uh, placement for something like this. It has a magnetic back, which allows you to stick it onto a fridge, uh, and also has an e-ink display on the front, which uh, is connected using an app that that you download on your iOS or Android smartphone and allows you to use it as a memo pad for uh, sending as well as receiving images as well as text documents. And there's also a flag on the side so that whenever you see one of these maybe messages left by a family member, you tap on the flag and uh, you know the message has been read. It also, of course, is a smart speaker because it uh, features both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, so you can stream music uh, over the air, connect with your device for answering phone calls. It has a built-in microphone, so it has all of these features stacked into just this one fairly sleek and a very cute looking speaker. Obviously the biggest question here is whether or not the audio quality is uh, as strong as a speaker um, than something like the Amazon Echo for instance. It does use something called NBVO Acoustic 3D so hopefully the audio quality here is good. It's a stereo speaker and one of the benefits of the Trippy is it's also has a battery so you can fully charge this up using a micro USB cable in under three hours or so and it allows you to go wireless or take this with you when you're traveling. This is what the app kind of looks like when you have it on your phone for changing the ink display which is very energy efficient. So basically if the display has an image that's been changed once, once it's actually sitting on this image it doesn't take up any power. It's the same technology found on your Kindle or any ebook reader. Uh, currently on the market. So you can make free internet calls using this. Uh, internet radio such as Spotify Connect will work on this as well. So quite a few features. Comes in a few different color options. We have just a gray version here. But uh, Inboxia wants to know, want you to know that there's also additional bumpers that you can pick up such as this kind of funky looking orange bumper which allows you to change the look as well as the style of the Tribi down the road. And these sell for an optional I believe uh, under sub 20 bucks. So you can pop up one of these and kind of change the design of the Tribi a bit more. So in here we have just the Tribi itself. It says, it says hello, I am Tribi. Go to set me up at uh, go.inboxia.com from your smartphone, or you can download the app and then proceed from there. Here is the micro USB cable for charging, pretty standard stuff. There isn't a wall plug provided, but it will charge over any uh, USB lead, whether from your laptop or if you have a charger sitting around in your house. Here is a quick start guide that's documented in full color, tells you how to set it up and the various features that you'll find on the Trivi. Finally, there's a quick Spotify card that tells you how to connect it and to use it for streaming internet radio. So that's it, all the content you get in the packaging. Take a quick look at the design of the Trivi first. It is, again, extremely kind of cute looking just because of this handle. Um, the first impression that I have is that it is very well built. It's made uh, out of this fusion between kind of rubber materials and accents, as well as uh, aluminum or metal. So the frame here is completely made out of aluminum. The handle here is cold aluminum. So it is actually a lot heavier than I expected. Here is a flag. So basically, once a message has been popped onto the ink screen, it's going to uh, come out here so that someone sees that they can just tap on this so that the flag goes back in and maybe you get a notification through the app. The front here features quick launch shortcuts, I believe, for maybe radio, for music, or for calling, uh, as, along with uh, shortcut keys for navigating the interface. And the top features a play pause key, which also does as a power key. There's going to be a blue LED indicator once it's been turned on. And there's also volume controls on the sides here. Kind of interesting that the speaker grills seem to kind of wrap around on the back. The side features access to a fairly recessed micro USB charging port. There's a hotkey here, and the other side just features a flag, the two strips for the magnets, and if we wanted to remove this, again, that is doable. That leaves us with just the frame of the Tribi uh, for us to customize with, again, perhaps a different look altogether. So anyways, this has been a quick first look and first impressions at the uh, Invoxia Tribi, a very ambitious all-in-one smart speaker um, that competes against the likes of the Amazon Echo and uses the same software underneath the hood. So we're going to test this out and give you guys a full 
uh, hands-on as well as a review that's coming out soon as well. So be sure to keep posted for that. Thanks for watching this video unboxing and first look impressions here at OS Reviews of the Invoxia Trade.